Hadouken! Look at Charlie Peters, look at Bobo Sack, look at Fabio Pinker, mm -hmm. how the three of them fought against Liam Harrison. Yep. And uh, obviously you've studied it. Yeah, of course. In order to put off that performance with, with Charlie. Yep. What is it you took from those two, from those two other fights and sort of got an insight into basically defeating Harrison? Well, <clears throat> I think a lot of it's psychological too. Liam Harrison has this aura about him, which is, um, it's like, it's like a shark, you know, gonna come and get you. He's just got this look of him, he's gonna kill you. And that that beats a lot of people, you know. And I don't blame him, he is, you know, he's mean looking, you know. Yeah, here Misaki Bada Harry, the reason why they're three of my favourite fighters is yeah. of that approach. Yeah, of course, yeah. But you have to get over that. It's like the Mike Tyson syndrome, you know. Mm. Buster Douglas, as soon as Buster Douglas beat him, everyone's like, well, I, I could beat Mike Tyson, you know. And we had to implement this with Charlie's training as well. Yes, we tried, we tried to take away a lot of uh, uh, Liam's um, power strikes, you know, the left hook and defend the left body kick, slight movement left and right, awesome. moved a hell of a lot more. Um, and also, it, our training anyway, what I do with double Ks, we do a lot of, um, it's not just Thai style, we do a lot of like, Dutch training, a lot of boxing and low kicks, um, like just as a warm up sometimes. Charlie was conditioned, you know, to take low kicks, but also in his head to say, I said to him before, no matter what, no matter how good you are, you still get caught. No matter how good, you, you're likely to, to take some low kicks. So just understand that that's going to happen. But don't think, shit, I've been caught with a low kick. Oh fuck! And then, and then when you start thinking like that, boom, another low kick lands. Mm. Oh, I've been caught again. And all you're thinking about then is a low kick. And then he's very smartly, and he'll go left hook, then he'll go left body kick. Wait, wait, wait. Boom, goes back to low kick. And that's how he takes you apart. So we just try to override that by scoring, of course, moving. And when the opportunity is right, to start throwing some more body and head kicks. But even the body kicks, we didn't throw full power in the body kicks. We snapped the kicks back to score the points as well. You know, Muay Thai scoring. Mm. Each round, to step it up a little bit. And the plan came together nicely, you know? A lot of people admitted to eating humble pie and have come out in, in great numbers, yeah, volumes. But I, don't, but I don't blame them. To, to, to you know, congratulate it, Charlie. It, 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 I don't blame them. I've always said this, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. There's no maliciousness in it at all. If and it's you, like Phil was saying to me on the weekend, we need people, to, we want people to talk. Yeah. It doesn't matter if people have yeah. different opinions. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I, I've always said it for, from even armchair supporters, everybody's entitled to an opinion. I've always said it. And I think AE, probably 90% of people were saying Liam's going to win. That even that's part of the game as well, like for Charlie as well, because, you know, social media is a big part now. Right? And we have to, I have to accept it also. It's part of the fight game. So, you know, once you read that, God, I'm going to get stopped. If you think like that, you're half defeated when you step into the ring. So we had to overcome this as well, so.